makers and welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, a special welcome to you. I'm Joanna and this is Stitching the High Notes where each week I share what I'm currently making, whether it be knitting, sewing, cross stitch, whatever creative rabbit hole I may be going down at the moment, as well as a look at what I am making for my small business where I create project bags and curate tools for makers like you. My hope each week is to encourage and inspire you to nourish your own creativity, to live slowly and with intention, and to stitch joy or the high notes into your everyday life. How are you? I hope that you are well, that you've had a wonderful week. I am doing well. I am a little bit tardy this week. You may notice I am sitting down to catch up with you all on Sunday. Uh, it is almost noon. It's about 10 till noon and uh, I just had uh, some stuff going on this weekend had to take care of so I'm a little bit behind schedule but nothing too bad and plus I wanted to be in a nice calm chill place to share some really cool things that I've been up to this week a lot of progress on a cross stitch project some new yarn, a surprise package of yarn to share with you all, a little bit of an update on kind of knitting wise what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of months. Uh, and then if you are interested after a little bit of lifey chat, uh, I wanted to show you what is coming to the shop on September 30th, the first proper new collection new update since my big move uh this summer up to the sacramento area so i've been a busy bee in my studio space back here and i have some sample bags to show you all so without further ado if you haven't already grab your knitting or stitching a lovely beverage and let's catch up up this week I wanted to share my main project as of late which is this sweet little ornament by Satsuma Street I uh, purchased I've made a couple of these in the past some Halloween ornaments made on perforated paper and they come in these cute little kits and Satsuma Street is my favorite bar none my favorite cross stitch designer uh, counted cross stitch designer and I went a little hog wild <laughs> a few weeks ago and caught up on various years of cross stitch kits which I am really past thank you past Joanna <laughs> for doing so because they are bringing me such joy so I started last week this little guy and here's a photo of what he or she or they are gonna look like when they're all done. So it's Hoppy Halloween. This is from the 2022 set of four. And I have made a lot of progress. Last week I had just done the hat. So I'd hoped um, just to get the face done for the most part. All of the holes that you see, the missing little stitches are where beads or it looks rather scary, the eyes. <laughs> I thought about putting the sequins are where the um, kind of eye pupils are going to be you can see right there in the photo felt like a photo bomb <laughs> but uh it looks kind of scary without those sequins in the eyes but all of the little holes for the most part that you see will be filled in with beads and i'll hold up the photo again another little photo bomb here so you can kind of see on the photo there are some like really cute little beads that fill in everything like on the little chest area there's even some sequins just love the shading of this designer and the color palette. So I just started, I've got brown uh, embroidery floss on the needle right now and I just started the broom, which is really exciting. And I just did this little leg while I was on a Zoom stitch and chat with my Patreon peeps. Uh, and just having such a joy with this sweet little thing that I bring with me on the train when I go down to commute down to San Francisco a couple of days a week and uh, yeah it's just the perfect thing to have right now in between a lot of sewing for the shop which I'll get into later but yeah I, I can't wait to finish this guy and show you how I 
finish it in terms of putting on sticky felt on the back and then kind of tacking around um, and then putting like a little bit of embroidery floss to hang it up. I'm still on the hunt for a black, I've decided to go with a black uh, Halloween tree. So I'm uh, on the hunt for that. I looked at Target the other day and I didn't see one that I really liked. So I'm gonna go to Joann's or Michael's, which are some craft stores here um, and see what I can find, especially with coupons, take advantage of some coupons. So I'm excited to finish that little guy and start the next one. I think I might do the Raven one, um, which I also really loved. And then keep, keep, <laughs> I've got plenty to keep stitching. I think I have four that I've done in the past. So, um, now this will be my fifth little one. So yeah, just pure joy. Perfect right now. Um, and that's my kind of main project on the go right now of personal makes, as I like to say, because I do quite a lot of making for my shop. But knitting wise, I don't have anything on the needles right now. And there have been just as of late a couple of times where I really want something that I don't have to look at because obviously with cross stitch, you have to look down pretty much all of the time. You can look up a little bit if you're on kind of a stretch row like when I was on this kind of lime green section of the frog but I love having a pair of socks on the needles all the time and I have plenty of amazing yarn I just moved you might have seen earlier I just moved my yarn over I swapped my two kind of display yarns over because these are the fall kind of colors and I thought that would be nice to have back there and happy fall it's it's officially fall since we uh, chatted last or happy spring if you're in the southern hemisphere uh, it definitely does not feel quite like fall a little bit of chilly chillier mornings and chillier evenings we're coming back into higher um higher temperatures here but the trees haven't turned at all and I've been hearing that pretty much across the board a, a, maybe a little bit of a fall leaves here and there but I'm just I'm so ready I think in the next couple of weeks it's gonna look and feel even more so like fall but I tell you what this is fall <laughs> this is a new surprise gift that I got from my bestie Denise who is Earth Tones Girl. Many of you might know her and love her. Uh, she has a fabulous vlog and YouTube channel and she's a teacher and has wonderful tutorials namely for sock knitting and our birthdays are one day apart um, a couple a few years <laughs> apart but um, she's my fellow Virgo and uh, we surprised each other with gifts this year and I got this in the mail. This is a uh, limited edition which is now sold out uh, collaboration that she did a, a unique colorway to her earth tones and fall colors and it is yarn by Woolens and Nosh and you can see the little logo right there. And it's self-striping. I just, I'm still kind of in shock because I did not expect this at all. I'm so, so grateful because they went really fast and it's just beautiful, joyful colors to usher in fall. So I'm gonna cast this on at some point soon. <laughs> Again, I have quite a lot going on with the shop, which I'll, I'll tell you all very, very exciting things. And it's called Falling in Love is the colorway. The special color rage. I believe she chats all about it on a recent vlog if you want to know more, know more about the inspiration and everything. Um, I'll leave a link down to that down below in the description box as well as where you can find me and join me and join our community. Um, the base feels really cool. It's um, kind of not rustic but it's a little bit more toothy and when I looked at the base it's 90% super wash Targi, which I love knitting with Targi wool. And then it's 10% uh, nylon, which is great for socks so that they're a little bit sturdy. It's a three ply yarn. So you can kind of see that a little bit there. Oh, I love this like kind of mauve pink color and the yellow. It's just such an interesting and beautiful color palette. 
and this is obviously my jam i love this color as i'm wearing it here <laughs> um it's 411 yards 100 grams is this main skein and this looks like it's probably a 20 gram skein uh, for the contrasting color so i thought about maybe doing like just a cowl like in the round I'm, i might but I love having socks and since there's this really beautiful contrasting color um, I definitely want to use that so something to look forward to some TV knitting just be TV knitting it's become now something I need for this lifey chat section here I love having some knitting time with you all as I kind of just share little tidbits of what's been happening um, life wise a little bit behind the scenes wise uh, this past week it rained y'all I am in California it was such a joyful week because it rained here. We're in a deep, deep drought, if you weren't aware. I'm pretty sure the whole world is aware at this point because we've been in it for a while. And we had thunderstorms. I get thunderstorms now up where I live. Um, I'm in the Sacramento um, area. And it just, uh, I just was so happy. It definitely gave me a headache. <laughs> I am a human barometer. I've inherited that trait from my mother, <laughs> but it was well worth it. It was just buckets and downpours. And I have um, basically patio doors for my windows, which I love. I get so much beautiful light in my apartment. Um, and with it raining, it just was, it was gorgeous and the sky was the skies up here are just huge they remind me a lot of the midwest when i lived there I went to um, graduate school in oklahoma so the big open skies of oklahoma and it's very kind of comparable up here uh, and when it was raining and the thunderstorms and the clouds in the subsequent days it just was beautiful beautiful just to watch and um, the birds are starting to migrate and I'm in kind of the big migration pathway um, where I live and so there have just been geese non-stop going by and lots of crows which is getting me into the Halloween spirit already and just yeah it was lovely I did a commute on one of the days that it was just tapering off on the rain luckily I was working from home the days that it was really truly raining and it was raining down in the Bay Area and everywhere it was it was great and down in Southern California as well and um, but it was I just kind of timed it right where I didn't have to bring my umbrella I thought oh I'm gonna have to Get dropped off in front of a, a Walgreens or a drugstore to get a pocket umbrella because I don't have one. I just have like a long one because and I haven't used it in years. Um, but luckily, you know, I just was able to watch kind of the remnants of the rain on the train down because I take the Amtrak down and knock on wood, they're back in service. They're a little bit schedule wise hairy. I had to stand up uh, on the bus transfer to. Uh, the Emeryville train on one of the days because they've cut back on some of the trains um, just temporarily but but regardless going down when it was raining it was beautiful I caught some video of it off into the distance and you could see some of the rain sprout you know clouds I don't even know what to call them because it's been so long <laughs> but some of the rain kind of coming down and yeah, I was very, very, very grateful for that this week. Um, what else has been going on this week? I just, it was good to be in the city. The city was, is back, the city being San Francisco. Um, I, uh, it was hopping. <laughs> it felt like it was kind of back to full force to some extent um, since 2020. Um, there were lots of cruise ships in the ports and they had a big conference for Salesforce, which is headquarters are in San Francisco um, called Dreamforce. So it was packed to the brim with people there. Um, and yeah, it was an interesting like full circle um, 
moment of kind of being back in some kind of sense of normal rhythm again. I don't know if any of you are kind of feeling that way. There's been kind of touch and goes and little pockets of it, but now it feels like, no, I think we're back to whatever the new normal is now after these past couple of surreal years. So, so that was kind of going on um, there, especially with the rain, you know, in California, regardless of a drought, anytime it rains, we scatter like ants <laughs> out here. And so the traffic was horrible, I kept hearing, and I just was absolutely filled with gratitude to be able to take such a lovely way to work. I am so grateful to you all when I was kind of wondering if it was worth the cost, the added cost for taking the train down to work. And many of you even personally emailed me thank you and were like, please take the train. It is the best thing if you have it at your fingertips. It's so relaxing and I'm able to watch like TV and do cross stitch or work if I still need to work a little bit, which unfortunately I needed to do a little bit more this week. And um, yeah, it was just really, really lovely and starting to see kind of the regulars that are on my train. So, and I even made eyes at a couple of fellas. <laughs> so I'm, I'm seeing the potential <laughs> starting to happen, which is really great. That connection that my word of the year is connection. So I'm starting to, um, once again, kind of feel another um, resurgence of possibility and opportunity for connection, which is really exciting. But other than that, um, not much more this week besides the usual that I'll spare you all the details. Lots happening at the old day job at work, um, which is partly why I'm kind of probably going to have to go with the flow schedule wise. I'm definitely going to be able to vlog each week, but it might be a little bit later in the day on Sunday or even Monday morning, um, just because I'm balancing it with, and I'll segue here if you're interested into some shop news, just to wrap up today's vlog. Um, so I'm balancing it out with the height of, of time for the shop this season. I think you probably, if you follow like me, a lot of creative makers and knitters and indie dyers and whatnot that you are probably hearing the same thing it is beautiful madness right now as everyone is preparing for festival seasons which are starting to happen and for collaborations that have been in the works for several months that are coming to fruition which I myself am also doing um, and then also big for big fall and Halloween updates you know because it is the height of knitting and creating season. I know you all are probably feeling it as well, or springtime is resurging again. And then also preparations for the holidays as well. So, um, but the my big first focus has been the last couple of weeks has been my very first true shop update of new collections. And I am jamming this shop full of goodies for you all because of my move this summer. It's been pretty sparse and little bits here and there, but I have been yearning to work with new fabrics and it has been a joy the last couple of weeks. And I have some helpers now. My mama and my auntie have been coming. They're going to be coming two days a week to also help me with holiday box stuff as well. Um, and it has been wonderful. I think I'm still in shock that I have a wonderful support system now living up here so close to family. So I have five collections <laughs> for you all. And by collection, I mean um, fabric collections of in various bag types. So there's like a, a three different Halloween collections and two autumn or fall specific collections. Two of the Halloween collections are limited, meaning there aren't as many um, uh, bags being made because they're very uh, particular if you are a fan of the theme, which you, you will see. Um, but the rest, I overall, I'm making quite a bit for the shop, so hopefully it's good and stocked. This is going to be my one uh, fall and Halloween update, and then the next one won't be until November, so get everything while you can. 
uh, because I will be, of course, focusing on finishing up the holiday boxes, making all of the bags and wrapping all of the goodies for those. And then I have two wonderful collaborations that I'm already in production on as well um, for other, for Indie Dyer, um, uh, advent calendars as well and all of the details for those are down below uh, but yeah it's it's I, I've been living at my sewing machine again and it is wonderful so without further ado I have one bag I have all of the bag types that I offer in the shop I'll go through them very quickly especially for those of you who have who have seen these many times all of the details the dimensions and everything can be found on my website stitchingthehighnotes.com the update will be September 30th which is Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific so I the last day of September I wanted to do it in in September so I'm really excited that I'm able to orders they will be ready to ship uh, orders will start shipping next Monday um, through Friday because of my new work schedule there might be a couple of days there where I can't ship out because I'll be traveling down to San Francisco um, but I'm gonna try to get everything out that I possibly can on Monday and Tuesday um, and everything out everything for sure will be out by Friday so within five business days is what I say um, for shipping um, Okay, let's just get into it. I haven't done this in a while. So first up are the fall collections. And these, again, I'm gonna be showing you one particular bag type, but they, the, all of these collections will be in all of the bag types. And actually, I need to get my cheat sheet of what these are titled, hold on. Okay, I got the collection titles all queued up. First up, we have Woodland Sage Florals. And this is being shown on a drawstring bag. I fell in love with this fabric. It just is such a unique autumnal color palette. It screams at like liminal time, I think right now that we're in between summer and autumn. And that's why I really loved it. And I paired it with this copper sparkly linen, Essex linen base. And it's so pretty and it's got cotton twill drawstrings and the linen is the channel as well and all of the bags have Kona cotton 100% cotton inside and have my little stamp and this has box bottoms as well you can see there and all of the bags except for the book sleeve are lined with um, interfacing um, quilting interfacing so really nice sturdy so you can hold it up like a like a little bucket there but also collapsible so you can put it in your commuter bag or your purse or just take it along with you so that is woodlands and sage again it will be in all of the bag types I'm about to show you but love this sweet sweet collection it's so wonderful the next uh, autumn collection and the, both of these will be like full so I'll have like the full bag counts that I usually make for each type of bag this one is called fall pumpkins and apples because you have to have pumpkins and you have to have apples and I love this wine colored Essex linen that I paired it with that goes right into this apple color and it looks beautiful with the various colors of pumpkins. There's pumpkin pie slices, there's apple slices and apples, little acorns as well. Um, where's the acorns so you can see that? There's like an acorn there. And I really loved the color palette for this. I felt like it was very traditional. Oh, there's some like pumpkin spice latte or apple cider, whatever, whatever you prefer. But I thought this was like an unusual yet traditional color palette. I really, really loved it. And especially paired with the wine colored, kind of apple colored linen. It just, uh, I just, I, I'm, I, I knew I loved it when I got it, but I think the pairing with the linen just has really kind of wowed me. I know I'm biased, but yeah, I really, really dig it. So 
This is in the sweater bag, which is for sweaters, obviously, or for um, blankets, blanket projects. A lot of folks put their um, like scrappy blankets and stuff in here, or you can use it to hold several projects. Inside it has box bottoms and a handle, some box bottoms, and zippers and zipper tabs as well. So yeah, so that is the Fall Pumpkins and Apples collection, and then the Halloween collection. So uh, the main Halloween collection, so this will again be in like the full quantity of normal bags for an update for a collection. I have a booze house. <laughs> and oh my goodness, this is paired with a black linen. And this is being shown in a maker's briefcase, which is for a large 11 by 11 Q-snap um, embroidery project or needlework project or quilt or some people put their like iPads in there. It has a pocket inside with two divided sides and a scissor fob hook so you don't lose your scissors in there and a little handle of course zippers and zipper tabs and then let me show you the fabric up close oh i love this designer so much i've used a lot of her stuff i get all of my fabric for the most part um, all of the fashion fabric this stuff from spoon flower love it I just love the potion bottles and the little bit of blue that pops out and it just ah, I'm so excited to go trick-or-treating with my nephew so be kind of a fun trick-or-treating bag too so that is Boo's house and then we have two limited edition collections this one I knew I wanted to do this for some time and I finally was like I'm gonna do it this is my I love two, well, yeah, I love two Halloween movies the most, Hocus Pocus, and yes, I'm super hyped for Hocus Pocus 2, and I love Nightmare Before Christmas, so I knew I needed to do something from both of those this year. The first, Sally, <laughs> from Nightmare Before Christmas, it's Sally's dress, it's so amazing. Oh, I love it, love it. This is being shown in a needlework pouch, uh, which is made for kind of your standard size embroidery cross-stitch project. It fits an eight by eight uh, Q-snap. Uh, it has two pockets. One is for your notions and whatnot in there. And then the main one is for your project. Again, you can put whatever you want in these. Some people use them as book bags. It has a little handle as well and zipper zippers and zipper tabs for both nice like little flat standard little pouch there so this is Sally again will be in all of the various bag types and this is the limited edition uh, similar to the stranger things collection that I had this summer in terms of quantity and then come we fly <laughs> i picked this out with my aunt i picked out all of these fabrics with my aunt um and we just could not stop giggling when we came across this it was hard to find some because th these you know disney likes to license their stuff it was hard to find some stuff that was you know vague enough and um and you know fits my aesthetic and and style but i love this and I can't wait for the new movie because uh, Catherine Nujemi, who was on the vacuum in the original Hocus Pocus, she's on Roombas now. <laughs> so I can't wait for the new edition of this fabric. Maybe it'll have Roombas, but I love this so much. So this is a fun little collection to celebrate Hocus Pocus. And then finally, in a collect those are all of the collections um, but showing this last bag type because I've got six uh, bag types and the book sleeve I'm showing this in the fall pumpkins and apples and this is a book sleeve so this is for kind of your standard hardback cover book uh, it has really sturdy it's got like it's fully lined inside and it has um, 
foam interfacing so it's very squishy and keeps your books nice and safe this also will fit in an 11 inch ipad pro as well um and yeah i thought it looks really cool in this fabric especially because fall time is like reading time too my reading bug has well it's always there but it's like on a resurgence kind of back in terms of reading romances and stuff <laughs> so so yeah, so that is what's coming to the shop. There will also be a host of new super cute stitch markers as well, which I'll show you a little B-roll here of those. Um, can't wait to put in some new stitch markers. Long overdue for some new ones to add to the shop and some goodies there. And I have gotten a few already for the holiday season as well which i'm thinking i'm probably going to do one or i'm probably going to do two collections max um and do a, a good amount of bags as well for the holidays as well because i know a lot of you all also got holiday boxes too so there'll, there'll be bags of course in those boxes but yeah that's coming to the shop if, if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments below you can always email me as well at joanna at stitching and yeah it feels so good to be bringing some new things for you all to the shop and with that i'm gonna end it here for this week i hope that you all again are doing well and are enjoying the very first little tidbits of the new season wherever you are and uh, yeah here is to october the next time i see you it will be october so have a wonderful week ahead and i'll talk to you soon bye